Okay, so here's the thing. We see a master plan in, in, in action down here. Yeah, man, it's just about 2 o'clock in the evening, and we set in the brood nest. What we saw just now is a whole bunch of brood almost ready to emerge. So this is going to be a, a very strong colony here. And they have now started to work on the so vine flowers nectar to bring it in and store it as best they see fit. So I was able to put in position three and in position eight foundation sheets. They had it there already, but I just had us to reposition it. It wasn't in the right sequence now. I want to put back on the um, the super here, but all of them, all these bees, they, they coming out. I don't want them to come out, stay in, go down and go down and do something else, now, man. Right. So we have over here. Right. We put on this this super here for them. Right. I move. I move this frame, position nine, which had they was putting in, they bringing in a whole set of nectar there, and just now they might want to seal it. So that is what I did. I move around the frames a little bit, reposition it, so they'll be able to work on it better. And now I'm going to put back this this box here, which have it have a lot of um have a lot of honey in it now. Let me see if I can focus this this camera here. So you'll be with me now. All right. I just want to I just want to look inside here and see what kind of honey stores they have now. You could see it good there. I hope you could see it good. Alright, let's take out the middle one and see. Look at that. That is seal honey. Right? And you have seal honey on both sides. And watch down inside it. That is seal honey there too. Seal honey there. Everything seal up. This this super. This super here is sealing. So I'll have to come and do some extraction just now. Let me just cover them back up before before they make any sort of eruption in this place. Come on all here. Yeah. Oh, I forget one thing. I have to get them back the feeder box. You see this, this is the feeder now. Yeah, yeah, let's put the liquid inside it. Eh? And this is the solid here. Right, so in a while I will have to take out that solid and liquefy it because just now I will have to stop feeding these bees. 
Because if, they, if they're sealing up, if they're sealing up honey here, they need feed. You understand? So let me put them back there because like they want to, they want me out of here. You see how they're behaving, watch. They're behaving good, you know. They're not aggressive, but at the same time, look at that. That is the kind of behavior I, I, I might be expecting, you know, when I start to extract honey. So I'm here with my protective gears. Make sure that you, you don't go and check your bees, their back and thing, eh? These is Africanized honeybees. This is not European honeybees. It's Africanized honeybees. So you have to take the, pro the proper precaution, right? They're not very aggressive yet, because look, I have working without gloves. In any event, you see this kind of behavior? That is rubbing. They want to rub. And they, like they want to rub their own self. So, how do you behave that? Stop doing that. I want to go in this next, in this hive adjacent here, but I think I have to abandon that. I'll do that, I'll do that the next day, yes? I can't handle a next rubbing episode at all. One at a time. Okay. And simply because I went down with the brood to fix the brood, you know. Anyhow, the brood fix, I wasn't able to put in no new foundation sheets today. But everybody in a gear day. By now, all the other colonies would have gotten on the alert. You see? They're looking for any any opening to, to go and rub. Watch, watch them. Like rubbing behavior. So folks, right here, right here. You can't do go nowhere else. You're staying right here at the good honey bee yard and you're getting all the goodies. Well, goodies. You're getting all the goodies right here. And every time you see your comeback, and you know, most of the time, I guess you would like what you see, so it makes good sense to click on that thumbs up there for me. Like and share. Tell a friend. Yeah, let them come and let them come and get some of the action that you have been getting. You see this this one here? That is the swarm. Yo, the swarm going good. So many no help at all. I'll put on a super for them the other day and I'll give them a little feed and they, they're happy like papi. Them bees are to calm down, man. I, I don't like that rubbing thing, man. That rubbing thing does trigger me off too, you know. Anyhow. One of, one of the other things that I'm doing in this bee yard is a changing around the whole scenario if you notice i have five colonies here these five colonies is old queens those across there too those three there is also old queens so I, i'm doing over the whole apri and i'm putting all the new queens over on this side all right so these boxes here will shift around to accommodate these other two colonies there on that stand. That is so that I will get better movement of the bees. I could handle them better that way. And I'm running another experiment too now concerning the light. This side is east and that side is west. You know, so let me see exactly how those bees handling the light from the neighbors this year so I would know if to turn all the colonies facing the west. 
Yeah, sometimes you just have to do all kind of changes, you know. So you see, I have a big space in between here now, which I'll put another stand here. I'll bring that stand forward or something, right? And um, incorporate all the bees right here now. Yeah. So folks, don't forget. I know sometimes I always forget, you know. Subscribe. Ring that bell icon there for me. And you see, <laughs> you're getting, you're getting some, look at our beard of bees there now. They look like they're settling down, but still they want to open that colony here. You know? You're getting all the things directly here, man. You see, once I see in this kind of thing going on there, I, I, I ain't opening no colony, you know? that, is, that is a robin kind of thing. I ain't, I ain't able with that. The bees, they're settling down good. They're going back in. So that is something else I have to be aware of when I, when I come here to this apiary to do any kind of manipulation. As, like I say, I have two frame of honey, but I don't know which part to put it. Two brood frame. I can't, open my, I can't attempt to open my next colony now with all this, these rubbers and them. Watch them, watch them. They want to go inside there and rub in. And you know I'm to them. How do you behave all yourself? How to distract them with the smoke now. I don't like to smoke these in. But in this case, if you don't do that, they will just look for the weakest colony to go and attack next. And I have... What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, what I do? The other day, I went in this nook here. The nook was that nook there, it was over here. And when I opened, it was two nooks. When I opened one of the nook, I see laying workers. The queen is the only one could lay. And when it hatch, it will be a male, a female, or a queen like herself. Whenever you don't have a queen, the, the workers will try to produce a queen, but the, the workers could only lay eggs when it hatches it will turn out to be a male. They cannot reproduce themselves like that, like the queen. So when I see those eggs, three and four eggs in a hole, I decide to merge the two boxes, the two two-frame nooks. So I put it in that box. Now, when the bees went over from the, the one that was queenless, which was to the far left, other bees from other colonies w realized that, you know, there's a young queen and they're vulnerable, so they, they came there and wanted to rub. So I had to take up that, that box and carry it in a room and lock it up there for a, a two days and bring it back. So I bring it back now and I put it there instead. Because I didn't want to put it back in this position because the bees rem will remember that position and when you put it back there, they, they will come back there and start to rub again. So I change the position, I put it there. All right? So I see they settle down. I get them a little, little opening, very small opening and they seem to be handling themselves good. As you will see there now. I have uh, frames inside there. Uh, I'm missing two more frames to make it 10. But they're going good, man, from outside observation. So when I, when I open up that tomorrow, I'll have to look and see if the queen is there. The queen was laying before, so let me see if she continue with that. And this colony here, I want to turn it around the other way this evening. And I will shift all these, these three, these three colonies here onto the stand to make up the five, the five colonies here. So it's all kind of movement and all kind of action and all kind of changing and all kind of reconfiguration going on because the season is up on us now, you know, with the opening of that soap vine flowers, the season is here. So we had to get all these bees ready and able to go and pull out that nectar from the, from the soap vine and bring it in here to build the, the foundations. What you stick there? Or? 
Shocks. Mm. Maybe stick there. You know? I can't help him out at all. Like he had stick already, so the best thing to do is to kill it off right there instead of suffering. Yeah. I don't like to do that. I just can't help that way. Just can't help bees getting squeezed and things like that. Most you could do is you could try your best to turn the, the, the boxes in a way so that it wouldn't damage bees and smoke them so that they will, be, they will move out of the way now. Yeah, so coming back to you. So that is what's going on in the place. As you see, I could only open one colony today. I can do more than that right now. So tomorrow I will come and open up this other one here. So I hope you you you, you stay with me. Come back tomorrow, like around like around 11 a.m. and things so. Check me out, and you'll see the kind of action we're doing. So until tomorrow, TTFN. Thanks for watching. Let me close off by showing you the front. You see how they they settling down nice. Yeah, man. Right here, right here, right here. Don't go nowhere. The good honey beard. Yes, folks. TTFN. Bye for now.